Welcome to White House Fruit Farm. We're here in the orchard with our resident farmer, David, and we're going to talk a little bit about the differences on how our trees have evolved through their root systems. And David, can you tell us a little bit about this guy? He's a bit smaller than what we're used to seeing for our apple trees. Well, this is a three-year-old Honeycrisp tree. Um, a lot of orchard systems today are utilizing smaller trees. They're easier to pick. Um, there's better sunlight penetration, so you get some nicer apples. And the way the trees are kept small is the root system that the variety is grafted to. So apples do not produce true to type from seed. You can't take a seed out of a Honeycrisp apple, plant it, and get a Honeycrisp tree. So uh, to produce a new Honeycrisp tree, the variety has to be grafted on top of a chosen root system. And on this tree, that union can be seen right here. This swelling, the top part is Honeycrisp, the bottom part is a chosen root system, and the root system is controlling the size of this tree. So this tree is only three years old. It'll get bigger, but it'll never reach 20 to 30 feet like we remember from trees of our use. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what it means to graft? When you say it's grafted onto a different root system, what does grafting mean? A grafting is the process of joining two pieces of wood. So to reap, to get a new Honeycrisp tree, we have to take a cutting, a stick of wood, or a bud from the, from the tree, and attach it to an existing root system. Um, and uh, the root systems have no use. The, the fruit, if you let that root system grow, the fruit is generally not quality apples. But the root system provides a, a good way to control the size of the, of the tree that's on top of it. So grafting or budding is just a process of, of joining two pieces of wood together. And so we've borrowed a root system and we've put the variety that we want on top of it. Right. And right. do we do that with many varieties of apples? All varieties of apples. Um, Johnny Appleseed was not concerned about varieties of apples, so he collected seeds and planted seeds, and that can still be done today, but you'll get an endless different variety of apples by planting seeds. None of them, some of them may be good, some of them may not. It's kind of a gamble. So if uh, customers today like to know the kind of apple they're eating and they want to reproduce that, and the only way to reproduce that is by budding or grafting. So you mentioned customers like to have that similar apple time after time. Do you have a favorite apple that you like to have time after time? Well, we like uh, different apples different times of the year. So you're right, um, tastes evolve. And I, I find myself uh, eating all apples, actually. Just yes. different ones appeal to me at different times of the year. Right through the seasons, yes. Yes, I agree. So come on out, try it any of the varieties. We have so many sweet, sour, hard, soft, crunchy, whatever you'd like, you can bake with, you can just munch. Come on out and try the many varieties we have here at White House Fruit Farm. We'll see you on the farm.